Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Bamboo Lab A1. Step number one, we need to open the box. Ha ha ha, it's exciting, isn't it? All right, so Bamboo Lab printers usually have a specific way to come out of the box. As you can see here, the two sides are taped. So just go ahead and use a razor blade and cut each side. And next what we're gonna do is we are going to try to pull this bag out of the box. And a lot of times what I like to do is to get good positioning and just bring the box over and maybe the box just falls off. Then next what we can do is we can start opening up this plastic with the razor knife. Then at this top layer, we have the build plate. What we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to remove this from this piece of cardboard. You can cut it with a blade or just give it a yank. Then what we wanna do is just set this aside. These are essentially the ingredients to build the AMS unit. So what we can do is probably just take this layer and lift it out. Yeah, because we're gonna build the AMS after the actual printer, which is underneath here. So we're gonna set this first layer aside. Set that over here. So as we can see here, this is the printer itself. Take this filament out here. And we're gonna take off the axis arm and set that aside for just a minute here. And we need the bottom of the printer. So I'm gonna just disassemble that. Next, what I'd advise you to do is get your waist out of here and then set this bottom area right where you want to install the printer. All right, so for this next step, what we need to do here is turn it on its side. So put your hand right here, lift it up, flip it this way. What we need to do here is remove these four screws right here. Then we're gonna go back over here to the accessories that we got, and you need to find this small little box right here. This is the toolbox, so take that out. Open up this box. Try to flip it or try to open it the right way so it all doesn't fall out. And then which wrench that we need, we need this large one right here. So go ahead and take that out. Then what we need to do here is flip this up and we need to remove all four of these screws. So the next step, we are actually going to be installing the access arms here. So what I advise you do here is to get the positioning where you want to set it all up because this is going to go inside like that. So next what we want to do here is we want to get the access arms ready to be assembled. So what we want to do here is we want to remove all the zip ties, all the cardboard, all the bags. I advise get yourself a razor blade and maybe a sharp scissors or a snips and just start removing this stuff slowly. Be careful you don't cut any cords. Once you cut that, that should just come off. Then there's kind of a weird piece of cardboard over here. Just move the tool, the printer head over, pull that back, and then just closely, carefully snip that. Then put the printer head back, then peel all of this off. So like I was telling you guys, the A1 base actually is gonna fit on the inside of here. But first what we have to do here is we have to open this panel here. So move this all the way back. This should just slide freely, just kind of do it carefully. Put your fingernail under here, pull that up with a little bit of force, and then pull this out. Then what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna seat the entire bed on the inside. So give it a little bit of a tilt here, because as you can see, it slots in these slots right here, and it should fit securely in there. So for this next step, we opened up this panel because we have to put a bunch of screws in here. All these green circles, or maybe yours has red circles on it, all of these need screws. So we're slowly gonna put all these screws in here. Then after you're done putting those in, you're gonna move the bed forward, and there's actually a couple more right here. So next, go on over to your toolkit here. There's a little section where the screws are. Look for the base housing screws. These are the screws that are gonna go in there. And then as far as the wrench, it's the large wrench again. And just to let you know, there is an extra screw, so don't lose your mind looking, thinking that you missed one. This is just an extra one. Just throw this in your tool kit. And make sure just to take a double take on all your screws to make sure they're all tightened. I have all of them set up now. And then once you have this forward here and you finish these ones in the front, what we have to do is take this panel that you took off and we need to bring this to the back again. So we're gonna have to move this forward here and we're gonna have to put this back where it goes.
Next, what you want to do here is clear a spot that we're going to lean the 3D printer itself onto the edge of the table. And make sure your pigtail here, this electrical pigtail plug-like thing, is open and free. And you might be wondering what this is. This is supposed to be open, so just leave this tab open. So then what you're going to do here is we're gently going to take the A1 machine and flip it on its back ever so carefully, like so. If you don't feel safe doing this, you can also do it on the table. I just prefer to do it like this. Then what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be working in this little slot right here. As you can maybe tell, this pigtail plug-in, it slots right in here, and we have to plug this stuff in. All right, so first grab this tool. This is the large wrench in the toolbox. You're going to want to have this in your hand as we're working on this. So grab that pigtail, the plug-in adapter here, and as you can see here, some of these plugins are going to match up. See, like the green goes with the green. And the USB thing here is pretty weird. This thing has to like go inside there. See how you have to like kind of massage it in there? Because that USB Type-C has to plug in. So put it in there and then slide it up. Then what you want to do here is use the wrench here and obviously tighten this screw. Don't tighten it too tight because this is plastic. It's essentially just to hold this clip here. All right, so we're done with that. Next, what we need to do here is plug in these pigtails. This one says the camera. This goes to the camera. Then this one here is the X motor. Plug that in. And it should just click in. You don't have to push too hard. Then there's one more down here. You guys can see this, right? Down here. So just slowly peel this off. It's taped to the machine with like a weird hockey tape, if I might add. Okay, so then what this needs to go up here and plug into here, but there's a route for it. So start feeding the wire through here, open this little section here that we talked about, then put the wire in there, make sure it's not going to be pinched so it's clear, and then close this, it should click, yes. So what I do is I just kind of bend it in here, and then I pump it, I bend this a little bit, use some ingenuity, and you click it in. That's for the Z motor. So this section is done. All right, now I'm just gonna gently flip the A1 back over. There you have it. All right, so this next step, what we wanna do here is we wanna twist this display around. As you can see here, if you put your hand on this little display here and just turn it, you'll be able to just turn it and then it clicks into location. Then you can go ahead and peel this off. Ooh, I love doing that. All right, guys, next what we're going to do here is we're going to install the purge wiper. This is a device that essentially installs right here to the left here. So go back over to your supplies and accessories. Mine are a complete mess here on the floor. And what we want to do here is we want to look for this right here. This is what the purge wiper looks like. So take this out of the styrofoam here, then bring it back over to your 3D printer over here. And as you can see here, this little section right here actually just kind of slots in here. Hopefully that makes sense. See how that slots in there? But there's a screw hole. So we need to go over to the accessory kit over here and find the purge wiper screws right here for the purge wiper. It's exactly one screw and you will need the large wrench again. What I like to do is get it ready in the wrench because this is going to be kind of difficult. So slot this in where it goes like I was talking about. And then try to balance the screw on the wrench itself and find the hole once you find it and then just start turning the screw. If you're having difficulties with this, you can always tip the printer to the side to get a better view of this. And remember, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. All right, so now the purge wiper is installed. All right, guys, so here is your Bamboo Lab A1 setup. Now we're going to go through two different setups. First, we're going to do the single color printing, which is the bracket that goes up here. And then after that, we're going to install the AMS just to make the video helpful for both types of people that if you have it without the AMS, you still know how to do it. If you have the AMS, just start clicking fast forward right now until we get there. So go back over to your accessories that everything came with the printer. You need this weird looking arm right here. All right, guys, so this bracket right here, all we have to do is pull this back and it opens and it hinges. And what we can do here is we can just put this on the arm wherever you want it. And then you just click it shut like so. And you might be wondering, well, where does the roll of filament go, right? We actually need another piece that just screws into there. So go back over to your accessories here. And there's a little piece that looks like this right here. It's kind of weird. It has some threads on there. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna thread this into here. And this is where your roll of filament goes. 
Next, what you need to find here is the PTFE tube. There should just be one single tube, and all you do here is click it into these PTFE connectors. Click this into the front right here, so just click it like that, and then grab the other end of it, and then come up here and just click this into this PTFE tube connector here to push it in, and it should stay. Then all you need to do is put your roll of filament on here, turn it on, feed the filament, and then you're off to printing. If you're wanting, you can actually skip forward to the end of this video, and I'll walk you through this setup and display. Next, what we're gonna do is install the AMS unit. So clear the area in which you want your printer to stay, and the AMS is gonna sit to the right of it. So go back over to your accessories over here, um, what we want is the feet or stand first. It looks like this right here. So bring that over to your table over here and then set this right there. Then next, go and grab the actual unit itself. This is what it looks like right here. And then what we want to do here is we want to get this area open because this actually slots into here. But as you can see here, if we look at this, this is upside down. See the numbers? What we want here we have to turn this and we need to put it into the slot here, like so, so that the numbers read as you're looking at it. So then we can do is grab a snips here and we can take off the zip tie, throw that in the garbage here. And then next what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find screws because as you can see here on the stand holder, there's actually four screw holes and we need to put each of those screws in. So go on over to your screws over here. What we actually need is the AMS stand. There should be four screws in there, or actually five. There's usually a backup screw to everything. Then for these screws, it's also going to be the large wrench here. So open the bag of screws, and these screw holes are on the side here. You gotta make sure you have this thing slotted all the way in there, and make sure the screw holes line up before you start to screw and see how those are lined up. All right, so then what you can do here is straighten out the AMS because this is what it's gonna look like next to your machine. The feet are gonna look like this. Next, what we need here are the little rollers that go over here. I'll show you what they look like. Go back to your accessories here. It's gonna be this tray here. Look for these. There should be four of them. So pull them all out. We're gonna need all four of these. Bring them over by the table. All right, so as you can see, there's four of these, right? And there's two colors to them. If you look on the inside, there's colors. There's yellow and then there's green. And what we want to do here is we want to link these up to the color coordinated ones. See these, see these colored markers here? That's green, that's yellow. So this is going to go on here. And if you go ahead and put this on, so all you do is kind of push these in here. They either go really smooth or they're weird. So I'm just going to turn it finicky. Push it in. They're either weird or they're easy. There. All right, so the AMS is pretty much put together. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these PTFE tubes, and there should be a bundle of four of them. So there's four tubes, and you notice there's four inlets to the printer head here, and then there's four connectors here. Okay, so the PTFE tubes, two of them are longer than the other ones. What we wanna have here is the longer the PTFE tubes, these two are gonna go on the left of the printer head. So all you do is kinda just snap them in there, See if I can give you guys a close up here. So all you do is kind of put the tube, just put the tube in there. You'll feel it click, then push down again, and it should click. Just a tiny little bit of a click, click. And then what I like to do is give it a tiny bit of a tug just to make sure that it's clasped in there because they're supposed to stay in there. Then all we do here is take the two longer of the tubes and put it on the outside side of the AMS. So just click these in. Then if you have to, maybe move your AMS a little closer because there is a distance that this is supposed to be here. Clicking these here, clicking them there. And if you have any issues, all you need to do here is just push down on this outside ring like this, down, and then it just pulls right out. See like that? See, it just clicks in like so. Then the PTFE tubes are connected. You may have to kind of adjust, uh, comes with these accessories to kind of help to kind of help you organize the tubes, but you don't even have to use this if you don't want. All right, so next what we need to do here is we need to plug this cord back here into the back of the unit back there. So mine's on my table here. It's going to be kind of annoying here. I'll just throw the camera on a tripod. The cord is just held up with a small little twist tie, and there's a pigtail 
that you just plug into the back of the printer itself. All right, guys, we're getting there. It's exciting, right? So next, what we want to do here is we want to grab your build plate. This is what goes on top of the bed. So go ahead and open this. Look at the gleam. Then all we do is grab the build plate here, and this is magnetized. So just kind of be careful. What I tend to do is I just kind of, I set it at an angle like this. That way you can kind of slide it. And you want to let, you want to get this slot to line up down here. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is. It's so beautiful. All right guys, next is the power cord. So get this ready, take the plastic off of it. We're gonna wanna grab this end here because obviously that end plugs into the outlet. Then we're gonna go back to the back of the printer here. We take this end and then plug this end into an outlet. All right guys, lastly, now that we got it plugged in and everything, what I think you should do is go over the entire machine and make sure you have all the stickers and zip ties and everything taken off. Here's another sticker here. You can leave that one on probably if you wanted. All right guys, so upon taking off all the stickers, I realized that we still have these brackets on here. So what we need to do here is use this tool here and take these brackets off right here. This is why you kind of just double check you got all the zip ties, all the brackets, it's important. So after taking out the screws of these brackets, all you need to do is kind of give them a tug and they just pull right out. All right guys, next what we need to do is turn on the machine. If you look in the back of the machine, there's an on and off switch, just hit that. Next, we're gonna go on over to the display here and walk ourselves through this whole step-by-step -step process. So just click on start, then click English, then check where you live, what country, then we're gonna to connect to Wi-Fi. I'm not gonna show this. All right, after you've connected to your Wi-Fi here, what you wanna do here is take a picture of this QR code or bring it up on your camera here. That's what I'm gonna do here. And if you click open Chrome, this should open up the Bamboo Studio app. Click allow, open the Bamboo Handy. And guys, if you haven't set up an account with Bamboo Handy, I'll throw a link up here if you're looking to learn how to do that, how to create an account. You can always come back to this video. Then it says bind printer. This is essentially connecting everything via Wi-Fi. Just click on confirm to bind. I have to log into my account. All right, so it's just open Bamboo Handy for me. And what you can do here is click down on devices down here and it should load your printers. And if you don't see your printer, all you have to do is click up here and then you should see it up here. Then the printer should connect and then start this whole process right here. And this is essentially just to calibrate it. And I would advise you do this. So just click on start and then it'll walk you through that. All right, so the calibration is finished, then just click go. It's gonna tell you it's time to lubricate the Y-axis guide rails and lubrication oils. Click later if you wanna do that later. Then what you should do is probably print a Benchy because that is a staple first print here. So click on print files. Oh, there's a firmware update. Make sure to do that, update. All right guys, so the update is done. Click back, then to print our first print here, click later there, click on the print files button here and you can choose which file you want to 3D print. Actually, there's two of them. Let's do this one, then click use AMS, then make sure to load a color into the AMS here. I'm gonna load blue right here. And by the way, here's a quick little tutorial on how to feed the filament in the AMS light. So open up your filament. Once it's open, find the end of the filament. Usually it's taped to the side, remove that. And what I like to do is cut the end off, just in case any of that tape residue is on the end. Then you can take the roll of filament and put it onto the spool holder and make sure it's feeding the correct way so the filament feeds into the filament tubes there. And as the filament's feeding in there, you have to push in that yellow button and then push the filament in and the machine will actually start to auto feed the filament. It's a crazy cool feature. Let's feed it in there. Just start to feed it and it will auto feed through there. All right, then go back to the screen here and then click on print and it should automatically pick up which color this is. All right, here you have it guys, our finished Benchy. All you gotta do is peel this off. Here it turned out, this is what it looks like. There you have it guys, that's how to set up your Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. Your next step is to learn how to 3D print things using your cell phone to directly send the files to your printer. This is usually the next step. I have a full tutorial on how to do this right here. And then after that, you're gonna learn Bamboo Studio. There's gonna be another tutorial after that that goes on your computer. Again guys, video's right here, you're gonna need this.